Hi guys, Marka here with another card video and today I'm working with Some Odd Girl. There I am a guest designer over at Some Odd Girl for the month of August. I'm gonna be there with three different projects together with some really lovely girls that also make card. I was really really happy when they asked me to do this and this past month like July have been a some odd girl month for me uh, it started out with the start of the month I think where it was the 30 day challenge coloring challenge and I realized I had all these mermaids that I wanted to color with my pencils because I was feeling a little bit iffy and, and all I could do was sit on my sofa and do stuff. So I colored up some really fun uh, mermaids. Also passionate paper creations of friends and some odd girl had gone together and had this week or weekend of fun plays and one of those things was to color up one of the mermaids and that was where it started and I actually won with my mermaid actually won uh, one of the um, guesses certificates for to some odd girl. So I didn't know what to buy, not because it wasn't enough things to buy, it was the other way around, I just couldn't decide between all of them, I just wanted all of them but I um, have not the funds right now for it. So I'm, I sat there and I went through and then I saw, well they're having a new release mid-July and I'm like okay I'm gonna wait until this rela release. And then the release came and I, I'm looking through all of these stamps and I, I can't decide because I love them really really love them because the new release is like these farm animals these uh cute vegetables these really cute uh vegetables with faces and it's one of my weaknesses apparently it's one of my weaknesses i love vegetables with faces but anyhow <laughs> um so i just sit there like, i can't decide and then ding it comes up in my little uh, notes like hi do you want to be a guest designer for us this month and i'm like yes yes and got these really adorable stamps to work with and just so happy um i'm really really happy because i love playing around with i love playing around with stamps but somewhat girl they're so adorable they're so cute she's such a talented artist um christy that is behind it she's just so talented and yeah you really need to go and look at all the stamps but yeah to the cheap. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the colouring because now I talked a lot about stamps. So I didn't know how to colour this cheap because all the cheaps I see here in Sweden are very small. Uh, so I went to my best friend Google and I did some Google searches and I found found shapes that actually looks like this. Who knew that shapes actually could look like this? So I found those images and I kind of tried to put the shadows the way they were on that shape, which means she ended up being grey with a little dot of pink. But yeah, kind of worked out, right? Uh, I really love the dimension that uh, the Samad Girl images kind of place at, so they're pretty easy to colour actually. There's one of the easiest stamps to color is the Some Odd Girl stamps because there are so much help in how to shadow things and everything. And even if you don't shadow them that much, they still look very dimensional. So I really love that. For the background, I want to make a scene. And I'm using up some pieces of my Kenson watercolor because, you know, watercolor cardstock is expensive and you want to use up everything. So I'm using up some uh, pieces of it because I knew that I wanted to have um, three pieces, three uh, a sky and two hills. So then I thought well I'm using that one piece that wasn't fully as one of these squares um, and one piece that were a full square. The square dice I'm using is Simon's stamp rectangular stick double stitched I have the list of all the supplies in the description down below. The hills are from Lawnfall. And then I am using a whole bunch of uh, Simon's stamp. No. Look. Tim Holtz and Distress Inks. Uh, we all know that Distress Inks comes from Tim Holtz. Uh, and I'm doing some smooching. Uh, all of the colors that I'm using are in the description down below together with all the other materials. 
Every time I dip my paper cardstock into the ink, I am actually drying it afterwards. When I, I feel that I have enough ink on the paper, I'm drying it with my heat tool. Then I pick up even more color and then I dry it again and such till I get the dimension I want. For the last part, I'm going to do some splatters with a size 2 brush because that gives me just the right size of splatters, for me that is. I'm using some shipped sapphire for the blue, some twisted citron and mont lawn for the green, and then to tie them both together I'm using ground espresso because, you know, I just need to have ground espresso on everything. I'm a coffee addict. Have I told you that? I love coffee. Um, then I'm taking some basil marshmallow cardstock. First I cut it in half so that I will have an A2 card base and then I cut the other half piece in half again and I'm using the biggest of the stitched rectangular dies from Simon's Stamp to make um, a frame because I'm using the next to biggest in the middle. The size I used for the uh, background was actually the next to biggest so it will fit perfectly into the frame and this also means that I can actually use that rectangular that I have from the uh, basil marshmallow uh, to add my pieces on. Then I'm doing a little bit of scoring to my card base mm. at four and a quarter and uh, to make a standard A2 card size. And now I'm going to put the whole thing together. We are going to start off with the background. I'm using my Craft Companion Tape Runner to add both the sky and the biggest hill to each other. I don't want to build it too much, but this card do have some dimension, or actually a whole bunch of dimension, <laughs> because both I have several lever layers of cardstock for my different hills. Then I actually also have some foam tape because you can't make a card without foam tape, right? So I start off uh, building kind of the background scene and as you see here when I add the second layer of the green background you don't see the little hill that you have cut out from the top of the card. So kind of using the cardstock as much as you can. I love this watercolor cardstock to do these things. I really, really love working with it. Uh, it's 300 GSM. It's the Canson XL watercolor cardstock. It actually comes in a thinner sort. I actually found it in my local craft store that they actually have the thinner version of it. And I'm actually going to go out to buy a pad in that too and see what the difference is. But I really love that thickness because it doesn't take that much water which makes all of the um, watercolor smudging, smooching a little bit drier and gives a really cool effect. I added the frame on double foam adhesives and then I added some foam adhesive just to the parts where the sheet touches the sky and the back hill so it doesn't build too much. For last touch, I'm adding a little Have a Wonderful Day sentiment from a Create a Smile stamp set, which I should have stamped before putting this together, so the stamp isn't perfect, but it doesn't have to be. It's handmade! And that was the card for today. I hope you liked it. If you do, please thumbs it up. It means a lot to me. Share it with your friends. Here are two other videos from with some odd girl designs. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!